I, I am going to ask a question, and I'm going to try to do it as respectfully as possible, but I, I, I can't take it anymore because there is something I'm being told I'm supposed to care about that I don't give a rat's ass about. Not a second of my day do I care about what I'm about to talk about. Now, terrible way for a radio host to sell their audience something, but work with me. We're here till six. I heard the morning show blathering on about it. I heard the midday show blathering on about it. I can't go anywhere without seeing discussion of it, whether it's some of the god-awful television programming on ESPN, whether it's articles, but just... Help me understand, why am I supposed to have this huge opinion about Caitlin Clark and the Olympics? I don't care. D-G-A-F. At all. Someone help me as a middle-aged man who loves sports, but cannot watch WNBA. It's a terrible product. From a TV standpoint, it is a terrible product. I watch a game above the rim in the NBA. That's the game I'm conditioned to watch and enjoy and love. It is not about WNBA players are not skilled. They're incredibly skilled. It's not fun to watch. I don't care. You're supposed to care. No, I want to know why. I want to know why the media is jamming this down my throat and my eyeballs and my ears all at the same time to where now I'm supposed to get on the air today, Rico, and have this huge take Oh, my God, Caitlin's not on the Olympic team. I don't care. I don't even know when the Olympics are. I don't care. And even if I did know, and even if I possibly cared, I wouldn't watch a second of the women's basketball. I don't care. So help me. Okay. I'm at, not you, because you're arrogant about it. I want to know. Maybe I'm arrogant. I want to I wanna know if the listeners feel the way I feel. Why am I supposed to care about this? I don't have time in my day. Because you've been told that she is going to be the shot in the arm that's going to revitalize and take the WNBA to the next level. She's the one that got them chartered planes. She's the one that's drawing in crowds. She is the reason why eyeballs are watching the WNBA right now. She's the reason why uh, two teams that had a combined total of two wins over the weekend packed uh, an arena in D.C. It's all because of her. So the WNBA is missing an opportunity to put her on the team. That's why you're supposed to feel that way. But I'm with you. You know what? You didn't make the team. There's a lot of people who got snubbed off of a team and Isaiah Thomas got snubbed from an Olympic team. The guy was an NBA champion. The guy is one of the three best point guards in the history of the sport. He got snubbed from a team. Right. And and and, and for anybody who's, well, you know, they put Christian Leighton around a team. Okay, let me stop you right there. One, in 92, they had just switched over to pros. And one of the stipulations were they had to have some college players on the team. So they put Christian Leighton in over Shaquille O'Neal, which was a big controversy at the time. That's the only reason why Christian Leighton was on that team. He's the answer to a trivia question. But... Yes, she didn't make the team. And it could just be as as much as the team's already stacked and loaded. And for those, who are you going to take off? Mike, I know you don't follow the WNBA, but it's one of those where you, you look at this team, you're like, well, who do you take off the team? And people are like, well, you have to take uh, Tarazi off the team. And it's like, no, because well, one of the legends of the league. And that's right. It's like on the dream team. Magic and Bird were already past their prime. Larry, Magic was Larry, out of the league. Larry was in a wheelchair. Right, and Magic had just <laughs> Magic had just been diagnosed beforehand. So they were on the team. Did, were they the best players? No, but they were legends, and this was kind of that tip of the hat. You want for everybody who's got their pennies in a bunch, I would simply say this. This is funny because I know you're not going to get this, but let's just have some fun. Feel free humor, rather me, please. patronizing, Paul. No. You want to do a player A, player B? I don't care. Okay. Sure. Player A, this season, averages 26 points a game, 36% from the field, 30% from the three-point line, 5.5 assists, 3.2 steals. Player B, 16.8 points, 37% from the field, 32% from three-point. These numbers are awful. 6.6 assists and 1.5 in steals. 
I don't care about either player because they're shooting 33% net. That, that's the, awful. Right. These are two players that got left off the team. Player B was Caitlin Clark. Okay. Player A, who is second in the league in scoring, is Arike Angbuale. Sure. From the Dallas Wings. She's second in the league in scoring. Didn't even know Dallas had a team. She got left off the team. So everybody's like, oh, you have to put her on this team. It's like, no, there's actually better people who got snubbed from this team than Caitlin Clark. Now, Caitlin Clark has become, it's the Tiger Woods effect. Oh, my God. People were Tiger Woods fans. They weren't necessarily golf fans. And I think that's what you're having right now is you have people who are Caitlin fans, but not necessarily WNBA yeah, fans. Golf, okay. It, it, look, the PGA was already an established, successful sport. Correct. The WNBA is a league fully subsidized by the NBA and only exists because the NBA is willing to lose money on it. They still won't make money with Caitlin Clark. I just would like to know, you know, maybe the angle is this. You want to handle the Olympic thing? God bless. Go for it. I can't offer you a take because I can't muster one. I don't care. <laughs> that's, but, that's why everybody's angry and outraged because how dare you leave off this money-making girl sponsors? And, and, and my thing is this. On this team that's loaded, she's probably coming off the bench and not playing that much. So you know what's going to happen the entire time they're in Paris? Where's Caitlin? Where's how come Caitlin's not playing? How do you feel about playing with Caitlin? You know, I'm I'm actually starting on the team. I would just like to know as a sports fan if you're tired of hearing about it. Seriously. There, there's my topic. You're a sports fan. I don't care what sport you like. Have you had it up to your eyeballs with the WNBA being forced on you? I it's unbelievable to me. You know how many times I've just turned Sports Center because I'm looking for baseball or hockey highlights? And I'm sitting here, and it's the Chicago force or whatever. I'm going, I don't care. And I mean, for God's sakes, the other day we were in here. NFL mini camps are going on, OTAs. Rico nailed it with 48 straight minutes of NBA Today about Caitlin Clark. I'm sorry. If, there, if, if you guys care, that's wonderful. It's a free country. But I think there's a lot of us. Because you know the one thing no one has brought up to me in my world? No one. Not a group text. Not a phone call, not a passing remark. No one in my sphere is talking WNBA. No one. That doesn't mean I speak for everyone. I'm giving you my authentic experience. You know, we're I watching Yankees Dodgers. We're <laughs> watching the NBA Finals. I'm talking about the NFL. I. It, but it, the minute you go to ESPN.com or CBS or you enter this building. I mean, the other shows. I actually I, sent you, I was about to send you something over the weekend, but I said, you know what? He's watching the uh, Belmont, so I, I'm going to leave him alone. What, what What do you want? No, no, no. When when it happened, I was just going to make a joke oh, to you. Oh, it's just. And, and I was I like, mean, you know what? Not worth it. Doug said it. He got more calls on Caitlin Clark than he's gotten on any topic in three weeks. I go, well, God bless. I don't know who these people are as far as who's calling. If you have an emotional response to Caitlin Clark not making the Olympic team, I'm willing to listen. But don't ask me for a response. Yeah. I don't care. I think she's she's all of a sudden become just fake outrage on both sides. It's all narrative. She represents narrative. Right. That Caitlin Clark represents these things that really don't have much to do with sports. And, and I'm the, not interested. And here's the funny thing. For everybody, either way, nobody's actually listening to what she's saying because she's just like, I'm here to play ball. You know what? That's going to be a great team, and they're going to win. And this gives me something to strive for. And I'll be on the Olympic team in, in the next four years. And she gets, she actually gets it. But every time, it's like people are ready to go to war over this woman, and she's just like, yeah, I got a hard foul, and you know what? Big deal. That's part of the game. Yes, but they knocked you down. Oh, yeah, and what do you what do you expect me to do? Well, you know, it, it, it's – <clears throat> people are ready to go to war, and it's like, why don't you just listen to what she has to say? Because she doesn't care about this stuff as much. Fit the narrative. It doesn't fit. Okay, if you're going to make sense, we can't do right, this. Right, but it doesn't fit networks who are tired of having to show games nobody watches. It doesn't fit what the NBA wants. Look, the NBA just is about to sign an $80 billion rights deal. The NBA would like to stop subsidizing a losing league. I, I think it's pretty clear what's going on. Because I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Did you see she sold out this? Arena? Yeah, at $20 a pop. Let's not act like these are Spike Lee's seats for twenty grand. I would just like to know. 
I would like to know you out there right now. You're in a safe space. You have every right to care. You have every right to not care. I want to know if you feel the way we feel, which is like enough's enough here. What is going on? That the actual expectation in our line of work today is to have a huge monologue about Caitlin Clark not making the Olympic team? Let me help you. I don't care. They're missing out on the endorsements and the money. And I'm like, guys, here's the thing. If you were going to watch the, the women's team play, you were already going to watch them play. And then Gator was like, well, you know, they're going to come back and then play the WNBA playoffs, and you're going to find out Caitlin won't be in the playoffs for the WNBA because they've won two games so far. Because yeah, their team stinks. They're not that good. So what, what, is, what is this opportunity that you're missing out on? I, I, just, I don't get let it. Let me throw the number out. And then you guys can take this topic wherever you want. If you want to steer into the she should have been on the team, you want to do what Jim Costa did this morning. I mean, Cookies was breaking down, win shares. God bless. But I'd really like to have a different topic, which is I can't turn anywhere without hearing about the WNBA. And the problem is I can't find anyone who watches it. I can't find anyone who cares. Now, that doesn't mean people don't care. Maybe it just means it's my particular circle or sphere, but I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know anybody watching it. I don't know anybody who's interested in it. And I, I am just at a loss for the amount of coverage that is being heaped upon it, flow chart, when I can't find anyone watching it. 248 539 I'll say this, Mike. I have... Like David, I've watched the games, and then once you can start betting on them, eh, they were easy money. But is it must-watch TV for me? No, but I have I watched certain players play. I've seen the highlights because you can't avoid them. I've seen the highlights because they cover it more than baseball. That's the only reason I know about any of this. So, but, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, I watch certain teams, certain players. Like I said, I like Sabrina Inescu, who's on the Olympic team. Good for you. I'll be sure to Google. <laughs> Two four eight five three nine ninety. She battled Steph in the three point count. L- wonderful. Yeah. I don't have to care. You no, no no no, Mike. No, no, you no, don't. No. no, you don't have that. to. No no no. You are vilified if you don't care. Oh. See, this is what I can't figure out. Okay. I don't have to care. Well, you're a bad person. It's not North Korea. I don't have to watch it. It's not enjoyable. But holy hell, if you go anywhere for sports news, it gets more coverage than the NFL or the NBA Finals. And I don't know anyone watching it. So go ahead. You want to freak out she didn't make the team? Here's your qualifier. Can you name five players who did? 248-539-9797. I'm going to have to. Indiana Fever are the balls. All right. I don't care. (laughs) I just, it's unbelievable. I feel like I can't escape it.